Uh, it's it's seven oh four. I'll call the meeting to order. We do have a quorum, and um, we have one item. In the, well, yeah, we have one item in the agenda. Um, an application by the state of Vermont petitioning our um, permit for adjustment, and um, uh, I'm going to ask. Uh, those that intend to give testimony before this board tonight to please raise your right hand and swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, under, <laughs> under penalties of perjury. My, my apologies. I was going to say, attorneys don't need to do that, as you know that. Sometimes the transportation board makes me swear, so I always. <laughs> really? <laughs> What board makes me swear all the time? <laughs> so the item before us is this petition by the state of Vermont, uh, agent transportation, and it really has to do with um, uh, jurisdiction of the state versus the towns. And they've recommended some alternatives to us uh, in terms of our permit that we granted and, and the conditions. And so I'm going to basically... Um, Turn this over to B Trans. Are you going to start, uh, Tina, or who? Well, I was just going to say that um, Jenny's our, our assistant attorney general, and she'll be doing um, the uh, what we want to say for our, the conditions. So that's all I was going to say. Jenny, okay. Jenny, well, can, Jenny, Jenny, can you uh, just give your full name for the record here? Yes, um, my name is Jenny Ronis, R-O-N-I-S. I'm an assistant attorney general for the state of Vermont and I represent the Vermont Agency of Transportation. And I am here to, tonight to talk to you about the uh, conditions imposed on the Berlin Park and Ride and our request for amendment of those conditions. Uh, I, I can give you a brief statement. Just um, while the original proposed conditions uh, on their face unfortunately violate certain statutory authority between the state and the town, we definitely recognize that Berlin's interest is in making sure that the park and ride is adequately maintained. And we certainly take response, you know, there's no dispute here that VTrans is responsible for that maintenance. We are under our own statutes responsible for that. And so we're certainly happy to take it on. So the proposed changes are essentially uh, aiming to bring the language in line with 24 VSA uh, 4413, which is limitations on municipal bylaws, while still recognizing that VTrans has the obligation to maintain the park and ride to a level that's satisfactory to all parties. Um, so if you have any, if, if anyone needs the language that we're proposing, I'd be happy to circulate it around. Please let me know if you have any questions. I should point out that we've had we've had a number of discussions with um, um, Tina and um, uh, Jenny, and uh, as as you've instructed us to, uh, both myself and uh, Tom. And I think this is a reasonable, uh, my personal opinion, this is a reasonable compromise on the conditions, um, recognizing that arguably this town does not have statutory authority <laughs> over some of these issues. So. Um, and we thank them for their time. So I have a question in terms of definition of maintenance, because at one point Tina had said the maintenance was like snow removal. And I was just wondering, Jenny, what is V-Trans, you know, proposing for maintenance? Well, so uh, snow removal is a part of maintenance, but we also understand maintenance to include things like uh, main maintaining the landscaping, trash removal, things like okay. that. Okay. Uh, but pretty much anything, um, Tina can correct me, but I understand be trans maintenance to be anything short of um, like construction activities, essentially. Okay. Thank you. Tom, did you um, do you have some comments? No, oh, I think as it usually mentioned, Bob, we met with the folks from VTrans, and uh, my my personal opinion is that this is a, a good compromise that satisfies both the town's and VTrans needs. Okay, Jenny, did you have additional comments you wanted to make about your proposal? 
Um, no additional comments other than to thank you guys for the ability to have such productive conversations. And you know, I, I hope that we can all come to a solution that help that works for everybody. Because as, as we mentioned at the last meeting, you know, VTrans and, and the town of Berlin are on the same page here that we want to be able to provide high quality facilities for this for Vermonters. And, and so our ability to maintain our park and ride to the satisfaction of everybody here is a big part of that. I think, I think I'd, like to, I'd like to speak on behalf of the board. I think the board is sort of speaking from a point of view that what's happened in the past is not necessarily acceptable in terms of maintenance. Um, I personally observed um, uh, drug paraphernalia laying around up there. I first observed uh, yard garbage up there and, and, and for weeks, same, same bags, same two bags. And uh, we have some neighbors that have some strong complaints. So, uh, and I'm sure you've heard this before and I understand budget constraints and programming, but um, we feel that something needs to be done to make us more secure and more clean. Well, if I may respond, I I would I admit that yes, there was during the redistribution of some of our maintenance districts, there was some confusion as to which district was responsible for the park and ride, and I do think that its maintenance was not up to the standards that we would regularly hold ourselves. But uh, as part of the work that we've been doing with you guys in the last few weeks, we've Doubled. We've essentially made sure that we have a, a district that maintains response, that is taking responsibility for this park and ride. Uh, I've spoken with jo Joseph Rizzo, who's the maintenance, the district manager, uh, district transportation administrator for District 4, and he's aware of the issues that have been going on with the park and ride. And uh, he has a plan that he, uh, in order to do twice weekly sweeps for trash is what he told me, but he also provides his contact information for you here because obviously folks in the, if, the, if things aren't up to the towns, if the town has concerns about the maintenance, then the best way to deal with this is to just, so that we can talk straight to the folks that are responsible for it. Question by the board. No, I think it sounds good. Yeah. Is everyone in agreement with the proposed changes, changes to the um, conditions? Yes. 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 Uh, if we have no further questions for the applicant, request to make changes uh, uh, or suggestions, I'm open to a request to uh, adjourn the hearing. So so moved. I move to adjourn the hearing. I'll I've second it. Motion been made by Paul is seconded by Josh. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, discussion of motion. All those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. Carla, aye. Aye. Polly, aye. John, Josh, aye. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before before the board disappears, we have a couple of other items on our agenda tonight. Yeah. Uh, one is the approval of the minutes of September first, uh, which I believe you all received. I wasn't okay. sure, Christy, did, were you not done? I thought you were going to add to them or something. So I didn't really, I mean, I read them, but didn't you say you wanted to add to them or something? Yeah, she needs, I think she needs some input yeah. on September 1st. Meet, right. Christy, I, you're on. Christy, you're on. Yeah, no, I was just going to say that I, um, I, I apologize for taking so long, but I, I left my stuff at home and I did the minutes at work today during my lunch hour. And um, I didn't have the, the written testimony from um, from Chris and Mark Nicholson um, on the site plan standard. And so that's why I said see, uh, see application, which I'm sure that's not what you really want to see. <laughs> so, um, so I can put that in there. Um, however, you, however you want me to do that is perfectly fine. But that was what I had 
plan to do um, well, after the meeting today. I didn't have time to read them today. I just saw them. Just, you know, just Polly. Polly, you always read them. I do, but I, today I was watching my grandson. <laughs> a much better, much, better, much, better, much better today. Yes. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I had a couple of comments with regard to the minutes. Um, I'll go first if I can. Uh, Chris Drankoff, you had a parenthesis behind him. I would call him consultant. That's funny because I had consultant and then I took it out. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's a site technician, consultant, same thing. Yeah. All yeah. around good guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I've known him since he was six, other than that. <laughs> um, uh, there is a typo in the uh, uh, first full bar paragraph under new business. Oh. Yes, just I the, see. the. Who does? Yeah. Well, sort of. <laughs> And and, Got it. <laughs> and and in regard to the um, sections, and I appreciate you didn't have the, the stuff in front of you. I would like to do more than just see the application, obviously. Perhaps you could paraphrase the sections. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, you're missing several sections, 305, uh, 3205, 3206, 3207. So if you would just either paraphrase them or, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually open to discussion. I, I don't want to make yeah. us have regurgitate the application, but if the application is stands as is, perhaps we could do some way of saying, uh, I, I'm open. Well, it's legal to do it the way she's doing it, but I, I understand what you're saying, Bob, because it, what happens is then they're not standalone. Kind of thing you have to. Yeah, I, I, I think we I think we need to speak. And to I it. use these for my findings of fact too. So. Um, yeah, yeah. So, whatever, so I would whatever you I want would, in there. I would paraphrase. When testimony is considered to be adequate, in, in this case we have written testimony. Mm -hmm. I would paraphrase the, the written testimony and just you know, point out that the landscaping and screening okay. no change or whatever and. Uh, uh, lighting, no change, or the lighting was a, there was a change in proposed. Yeah, that. But. Well, I think you, I do think you need to include that, and I, now I understand why you did what you did. You didn't have the stuff in front of you, right? Um, we we right. accept we accept <laughs> yeah, we accepted yeah. what they had, but anybody see that differently than I do? Yep. No. no. I think the findings have to have it. The, the the minutes have to have it because we have to have it in the findings, and and therefore it has to be part of the record. Tom, do you see it differently? No, I do not, Bob. Other than those comments, those three comments, I, I had I had none. Uh, does anybody have help for um, Christy on the time of the exiting of the um, little bit of session? I don't know. I. I mean, I, I can try to read them in the morning, Christy, and get you any comments that I have. Well, I, I think that would be fine. Or not Please, worry about. Uh, I want to say that you guys uh, got came. You adjourned about um, eight twenty eight, and you went into delivery session at eight twenty four. And then I think I joined you like right as you were leaving. You did. <laughs> I remember that. Um, so that would. I mean, that was my, that would be my guess, but I, I don't really know. No, you, you're you right. You came um, right at the end. I remember that. Yeah, yeah you guys yeah. ended about the same time I had a meeting. Yeah. Yeah, we had, we had a very brief delivery session, and then we obviously mm -hmm. uh, joined immediately there afterwards. Right. So the consensus was we were not going to deliberate the big guys. Right. <laughs> right, they, I, yeah. So I could say you exited at 827 and you adjourned at 828. Sure. Works for me. <laughs> I don't know. Who would I don't like to that, adjourn I, it? <laughs> pick, pick a face who did the motion okay. and who okay. did the second. Okay, we'll do. Usually John's John's the one that always wants that wants to adjourn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I wasn't there, so. <laughs> yeah, leave Josh out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and I have the written testimony in front of me, so I will all revise that tonight and send it out to you. Thank you.